All right, folks, quick shout out to our new sponsor, the World's Almost Finest Podcast. The World's Almost Finest Podcast, where we discuss geek culture and nerdy things, movies, video games, comic books, anything in the world of geek culture. The World's Almost Finest Podcast covers. You can find it at fnxtreme.com. The link should be right there at the bottom of the screen. And speaking of sponsors, let's give a shout out to the wonderful crew at Vintage Villains. <laughs> I know a thing or two about villains! I know something about villains! Let's go to the recap of the week! Let's go to the recap of the week! And I present to you the good looking guy. Travis Weir. It's the Dinobot, Spencer Wallace. And take a look at this. It's the brand new good-looking guy, Travis Weir. A rather interesting contest here. We've got the Dinobot, Spencer Wallace. And the man who came back here with a brand new attitude last week at Natural Selection, the good-looking guy, Travis Weir. Tell you what. <laughs> not the only thing brand new in this contest. Spencer Wallace has been messing around with different variations on his gear. He's been known to wear basketball shorts in the ring recently, would you believe? Really? I'm really liking this new uh, new direction that Weir's taken. Getting away from, from, from Blake Reed could only help him. Uh, not the Blake. It's not a good oh, man! Two. Surprising! Surprising! Out of out of Spencer Wallace, I believe he calls that the basketball shorts clothesline. Travis, we're trying to get back up to his feet already. The Dinobot from the Grimlock School. And wait a second. And why is Spencer Wallace exposed his breasts? Now Spencer and Travis both! I do not approve of this. They're this both dancing! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mr. John Snow, this is not, this is not how warriors behave. What in the world? You know, I guess this music is just like... I spin it to the both of them and Travis sends him Yes, down. that is how a warrior behaves, Mr. Johnstone. Bite his ear! Oh, Bite his ear off! The power, he's got the Dinobot up! Oh, and drops him down. The ropes. Oh, and he drops it with that big stupid elbow! He wanted to make sure that he got both both shoulders out of that. He puts he puts on his basketball shorts one leg at a time, just like everybody else, Mr. Johnstone. Wait a second. Oh, Spencer that is fighting a out of stiff it. Stiff elbow. Those will rock your world. The bounce off the rope. That Single one leg drop kick. That one leg and drop kick of stuff of, of Weir has always impressed me. That seated, that seated cross body that he uses, John Stone, Mr. John Stone, that is so impressive. A man of that size flying through the air like that. Oh, misses with the splash. Cuts Wallace off the ropes, ducks underneath. Wait a minute, wraps him around. Ribcord elbow. Super kick to the face. That may be all. That may be all. Wait a minute, trying to get his shoulders down there. There it is! That's it. He is, he is 
a good looking guy, John Stone. Mr. John Stone, that is a good looking guy. Travis Winter chalking up another victory since his successful return last week. He is a good looking guy. I can say that in all the security of masculinity. Oh, 
my celebration because I have something I want to do tonight. This is mine. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take a minute and I would like to welcome someone out to this ring. So if you're back there, Mr. Harper Dirge, I am issuing you an open invitation to our celebration. believe your own lies, that's all right, right? But nobody else here does. Because everybody saw with their own two eyes what you did. I don't know what you're talking about. What I did do, though, Harker, was go 3-0 and oh in natural selection. And what Cecil did was pin you for the heavyweight championship. That's what did happen. Whether you cheated or not, I guess it doesn't matter. Because here for the first time in a long time, I'm out here without the title, and this idiot right here is standing with my property. Parker, Parker, listen, before anything happens here, I have an offer for you. Would you just hear me out? Hear me out. Parker, listen. Listen, it's no secret, Parker. You are a legend in this area. You are an icon in your own right. Everyone, let's hear it for Harker Dirks. The man is an icon. Yeah, you're an icon. Harker, you pinned the ball. You beat the ball. You beat the ball. In the last two years, you've only been pinned three times, Harker. That speaks volumes. And one of them was from this man, Cecil Cernesa. Cecil's a champion. You want to go ahead and say it one more time just to make yourself feel better about yourself? I mean, if you're allowing me to, yeah. Hey, everyone. Cecil Cerveza is the UWC heavyweight champion. figure out one thing. And maybe the people can help me. Does Dickie Wabash look more like Barney Rubble? Or does he look more like Ellen DeGeneres? You tell me. You're a legend, but you're losing your edge, Parker. It's true, Parker. Listen, I'm offering you a chance. Look at what I did for Cecil. Oh, yeah. Join the Wabash Talent Agency. Parker, listen. The history speaks for itself. 
South Parker. I have asked two people to join and they have turned down. Their names are Jason B. and Travis Weir. And look at what happened to them. Where's Jason B.? He wrestles every now and then. He's teaming up with Bates, for Christ's sake. Travis Weir is dancing around here like an idiot. Look at what happened to them. But look at the people that have joined my agency, Parker. Look at Cecil. Look at Blake. It's no question that they are the cream of the crop. Parker. because I don't want you to turn into the grizzled old vet that shows up at the VFW mall and tries to hawk his promo picks for $20 to five people. Make me like the I have, you deserve so much better, Harper. I don't want you to become Randy the Ram. Randy the Ram, huh? You don't want me to be that guy. You, you want to help me. I, you want to take care of all of my business so that all I have to worry about is the action in the ring. And then I'll never have to worry about the business end again. Absolutely. Parker, I and then all the guys, such as the champ here, and Blake Green, they'll have my back, right? Yes. Parker, you deserve so much better than what's been happening to you as a player. And it does give me a lot to think about because every time I come out here against one of your guys, I gotta watch my back because if I'm fighting this idiot right here, I gotta worry about somebody knocking me upside the head from the curtain or somebody coming from that way or worrying about you and these illegal objects right here. So I do have a lot to think about. I know there's a special event coming up on May 30th where I'm going to need everything it takes to survive. So I'll tell you what. Dicky Wobash. I think I have an offer to make you. See him in a dress. <laughs> However, I have an ungood authority that Dicky shakes his legs. <laughs> all seriousness, all joking aside, 100% serious, just right here in the spur of the moment with the excitement going through the room. I'll do it. I'll do it. But let me add an addendum. Let me specify. I'll do it. Let's make it a lot more interesting. Katana, a stipulation to the match. Let's not just have a one-on-one, -on -one, one, two, three, pinfalls or submission match. Let's make it a special kind of match. This is real life history, and it means something to me. I 
have a relative. The brother of my grandfather fought in the war and flew against the Red Baron. And you know what? He survived! You know something else? You come out here talking about Travis Weir and Jason B and what you think you did to them. You're just living in the past, dining on old memories. But in life, you have two choices. You can live in the past, or you can live! And I'm going to tell you what I choose to do on May 30th. Cecil Cerveza, if you've got the guts, wait a minute. I'll be right back. See if he's ready for this big mammoth, Frank Wyatt. This is a very important main event here. You've got 347 pound Frank Wyatt. I tell you what, Mr. John Stone, that's why I've been gone for the period of time that I have. 347 pounds of Frank Wyatt driving my head to the ground while my, my, my left leg was trapped on the rope. I tore my groin. I was bruised so badly. It, the, the road to recovery has been so bad. This is a big man. Karen's going to have to pull out all the stops. In their last comp contest, I recall Karen winning, but it seems as though Wyatt's polished his game up. He's bulked up. Uh, he's just a meaner competitor now. Jimmy Carrot down to the outside. Both these men had a busy night last Friday night at Natural Selection. Of course, Frank White able to achieve victory over Alex Castle. And then Jimmy Carrot found himself victorious over Sourdough. Jimmy Carrot in his bullying ways last week able to achieve victory over Sourdough in a, a despicable act utilizing Sourdough's girlfriend in the match. Well, this isn't Sourdough, and 
And this isn't little Spencey Spence in his basketball shorts. This is the real man in the ring here that he's got to he's got to try and conquer somehow. I'd be going for the legs. Uh oh, Frank White's got him up and over into the ring. Irish whip out of the ropes and it sends him in. Frank White is all power here at the beginning of this match. Up and over with the back body drop. Mr. John Stone, Frank Wyatt is all power at the beginning, middle, and end of every match. I don't particularly like either of these guys either, but I kind of would like to see Jimmy Carrot hurt. Tosses him down, pin attempt. Somehow Carrot able to get out from underneath that massive frame. Carrot has an amazing amount of body here. I wonder if that's going to have any play in the outcome of this contest, Mr. Johnstone. No, it is a possibility. I mean, you can't rule anything out. You can cause a friction burn. Oh, with that. wait a second. He's, he's sweeping him. That's reminiscent of his days in, in IWA Unlimited and all the a different promotion where he was initially the janitor and was brought into the fold as a wrestler. He oh, what? His way around the broom. The security guard slash janitor at ringside got himself some and carried two of the broom and there's the body slam. Now, was that the security guard, Dan? No, no, that wasn't Dan. <laughs> Kick out at two and Carrot. I don't think Carrot was expecting any of this tonight. Everybody has a plan until you get hit. Running into the corner there, Jimmy Carrot gets out of the way just in time. Catches the boot, tosses him over. Oh! I told you you should go for the leg, Mr. Johnstone. Well, it is a very smart move. Take the legs out from underneath the big man. Oh, shot to that back leg, almost a quad muscle. With the other leg tied up in the ropes, Mr. Johnstone. Yes, it's extra elevation added on both legs. You can see the pain on Frank Wyatt's face right now, and Jimmy Carrot, like a shark that smells blood in the water, he's gonna attack. Nice clubbing forearm shot by Frank Wyatt. And Wyatt can generate that much power from his knees. Imagine how hard he's hitting when he's standing. Wait a minute. Care about the throat. Shot blocked while the man was down. Almost seemed like Carrot caught himself on that top rope. Wyatt, even with the with the injured knee, is able to drive Carrot backwards. Oh, and every time Wyatt tries to fight back, Carrot's there to cut him off. Man, I can't believe the announcement we just heard moments ago at Domestic Disturbance May 30th. We're gonna see ourselves a good old fashioned TLC match for the UWC Championship between Cecil Cerveza and Harker Dirge. I, I think Harker Dirge needs to be very careful with this one. I would hate to see such a valiant warrior as himself aligned with somebody as dastardly as Dickie Wabash. Every man must stand for himself, Mr. John Stone. Every man must stand for himself. Of course, we've got to watch out because we've got plenty of time before May 30th at Domestic Disturbance. Anything could happen between now and then. Jimmy Carrot taking his eyes off the ball. Frank Wyatt going up on his shoulders and he just slips right off. He can't support all the weight on that injured leg. Well, when somebody's been working your knees the whole time, Ooh. you can't support any weight. Even when you're as big as Mr. Wyatt is. Mr. John Stone, this looks like a very simple maneuver, but I tell you what, the way the knee is being torqued there, Mr. John Stone, that is agony. It is everything that Mr. Wyatt can do to not submit at this point, Mr. John Stone. And you can see the pain all over Wyatt's face there. I hope to one day have another battle with Mr. Wyatt after my, my groin completely heals, Mr. John Stone. That would be something to see, I'll tell you that much. 
I bit him in the nose. Crowd here just amped up going crazy and Frank Wyatt hears it. Wrapping that leg around, gets him down and drops it across that throat. Back up to his feet, gut ring suplex. John Stone, I believe that he might have untied his shoes with the impact of that gut wrench suplex. Mr. John Stone, the suplexing power of the hips of Frank Wyatt is like the power of the vices of, of, of the, the, the jaws of life in an automobile accident. Wait a minute, he rolls over into a pin. Two. Carrot is such a valiant, just, just uh, resilient competitor. He too is a warrior, Mr. John Stone. He stands on his own. Jimmy Carrot back up, fly out of the corner with that running shoulder block. Back elbow. Somehow supporting all of his weight on that injured leg and drops him down with that Samoan drop. Shoulder block, shades of the great hacksaw Jim Dugan. Only a two count. Crowd here has seen a fantastic night of action so far here tonight, and this main event showcases the best of what the UWC has to offer. It's been a great night here. I am sweating. I'm so worked up, Mr. Johnstone. Would you please warn me before you do that? Oh, and there's that kick. That 540 kick. I'm getting ready to. That was a big kick. Well, thank you for that. Wait a minute. The cocky pin that, by Jimmy Carrot. That's Karen. not going to hold down 347 pounds. I'm going to tell you that much right now, Mr. Jonestone. Oh, and stomp it away on the face. He hits that 540 kick, and he wants to go for a cocky pin, like just putting one finger on the chest of Frank White. Did he actually think that was going to work? I believe that it was more a psychological attack than anything, Mr. Jonestone. If you make your opponent doubt himself... Wait a second. What is this? Sourdough! What is this? That's sourdough is coming out of the ring! There. You don't weigh anything! Sourdough, we saw, I spoke to him earlier. This this kid is just something has snapped at this kid. I don't know what it is. Jimmy Carrot's up in Sourdough's face doesn't see Frank Wyatt behind him. Carrot needs to keep his eye on the ball. Big Frank has come back, Mr. Johnstone. Big Look Frank is. Big Frank is poised and ready to go. Look at Sourdough's face. Something is snapping this kid. And now, now he lets him know Frank White's back there. Up and over with the big he slam. Him inside out. I believe that his underwear is on the outside of his there pants. There it is. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. the assistance from Sourdough and something has snapped in Sourdough's mind. I think, I don't know what to think. His, this is very strange after last week's incident with his girlfriend and Jimmy Carrot. I, we're just going to have to watch out for this. Something's going to happen here. My goodness. I have never seen sourdough like this. Look on sourdough's face. I am liking this, Mr. John Stone. He looks like a screw is loose. Jimmy Carrick cannot believe what just happened. I don't think this is the same sourdough that Carrick's used to bullying around. It can't possibly be. Hey, Sean, what's up? Hey, uh, go like my Facebook page.
Yeah. You see my mastermind? I, I, I was, I was at your dance match. together, dude. Yeah, yeah, that, that happens. Yeah. Hey, anyway, just go like Facebook. Just stop talking. Go like my Facebook page right now. Dude. All right, I love you, bro. What? What's up? Hey, you're crazy. Hey, hey, hey. I just want to say you're an awesome ref. But you see my mastermind, right? Yeah. Like, you see what I did there. You struck. Okay. You have to. Go like my Facebook page.